Galaxia, Demanta, and Gogi get bonus rewards. And that's fun. There's no stripes there, but we can go here. Well, we don't want to go there. We want to go here. Where the, where the shinies are. All right, now I think we need to be careful because I'm pretty sure that boulder is going to roll over here. So maybe we don't want to be there. But uh, I, I think it is really... It, the people mean well, of course. I mean, they just see the sloth and go, well, you know, why is the poor thing? And put some people here so we can stand on there. And I fully understand that people think like, oh, but, you know, the poor thing. But she has places to hide. Um, with exceptions such as the elephants, who are a little bit too big to hide. Although the elephants still have little backways places where they're not very close to the, to, uh, to, to the public. But most animals actually have a complete choice if they want to be visible to, to the public or not. Because that is actually also really good for the well-being of the animal. They consent to being seen. So the mommy sloth is a show off first class and she just always hangs right in front of the audience but it is also a little bit the you know she doesn't like to be touched but she kind of likes to hang around people but it is her own free choice she has like she has so many places where she can hide and never be seen she just chooses not to And secretly, I'm always happy when I can tell people stories like that because um, it's, um, you know, I, I think it is, uh, it is very easy to see something and of course to draw your own conclusions. And that is of course fine, but um, I would hate for people to think that the sloth is sad because the sloth isn't sad. It is a very, very happy sloth. As far as, as we, of course, know. Uh, but, yeah. So I would hate for people to think that she is sad. <laughs> the one thing you learn from diving. <laughs> Looking no touchy. Yeah. Sometimes people are very surprised that animals at zoos are not tame. No. They try to 